very, very good morning to you all and welcome to our worship here at St Andrews with Castlegate, which is led for us today by our minister, the Reverend Chris Ford. Today is a family service where we will, amongst other things, celebrate our pets. There is no separate junior church activities today, but there are activities in the vestibule for our very youngest children, which you can access at any time during the service. Also, this morning, we delight in that we shall witness the baptism of Finnan. Uh, so we welcome all members of Finnan's family uh, who are with us here this morning. And so at the same, uh, our service, I beg your pardon, our service is being broadcast live on YouTube as we speak. And if you are sitting near a microphone, I can assure you it is working. And so we send our greetings to all of you joining us from home this morning. And at the same time, we say a special welcome to any visitors here with us in church. Following worship this morning, we have our church meeting back here in the sanctuary as soon as possible after coffee. And looking ahead, our regular groups and organisations meet as planned this coming week. And in addition, on Tuesday the 11th, we have our monthly service of prayer and meditation with Teze Music. This begins at 6 p.m. with refreshments available immediately before. And then this Wednesday, the 12th, the Belgravians will be meeting at Rushcliffe Country Park at 11 a.m. for a walk and picnic. I think further details should be available from Carol if you want to go along. And on Thursday the 13th, uh, the pastoral group will meet in the small hall at 2.30 p.m. Next Saturday, the 15th, we will present our junior church show, Matilda. This will begin at 7pm and tickets will be on sale today and available on the door on the night. And some of you will be aware that junior church leaders are given a well-earned break during the month of August. Activities for our youngest children continue, but we will only be able to run these with the support of a few willing volunteers. If you feel you could offer your assistance of one of the Sundays in August, then I would be very happy to speak with you at coffee time today. Also during August, as the church premises are a lot quieter uh, during the summer months, we usually try to get together to get tasks done that are not covered by the cleaners on the cleaning contract. So we're going to get a small group together on August the 3rd. So... If you are free and can offer any help, we would love to have you join us. We will meet from 10 a.m. and usually finish around lunchtime. And if you can help, then pop this date in your diary. I should say that again, shouldn't I? August the 3rd. Uh, pop this date in your diary. And if you want further information, will you please speak with Sarah Hutchinson? And one last announcement. Our very, very good wishes and a wholehearted happy birthday goes to Dillis who celebrated a significant birthday yesterday. Next, next Sunday, the 16th, our worship will be led by our minister, Chris Ford. And finally, following worship this morning, please do join us for coffee and cake served downstairs in the fellowship room. Good morning, everyone. Um, Please, please do allow your little ones to run backwards and forwards during the service. There are activities in the vestibule, and if they would like to take advantage of them, please just let them come and go as they feel during the service. If you would like to take advantage of the creche, then the creche is upstairs, opposite the upper hall upstairs. Please um, avail yourself of these if you wish to. Let us worship God together. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and loving towards all he has made. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. We sing together the first hymn in your orders of service, Teach Me to Dance to the Beat of Your Heart. We have sung this before. It goes at a good pace. Um, what's going to happen is Gemma is going to play the first half of the chorus, just to remind us of the tune. Then we get two boom-booms, okay? So listen, please, for the two boom-booms, 
and then I will bring you in like that. If you look at me, we'll start at the same time. Okay? <laughs> come before our God in a time of prayer and reflection. Let us pray together. Loving God, we praise you for all the many blessings of this life that you give to us. Especially today, we praise you for our families and for our favorite things. We praise you for all the love, all the security, all the joy we find in our family life together. We praise you for our homes and the comfort and nurture we experience within them. May we be always mindful of the many blessings you give to us. We praise you for the opportunity to grow together, to learn from each other, and to become better people because of our relationships with each other and with you. In our worship now, we offer you our praises for all that you provide for us, we pray that through this time of worship, we might be renewed for our lives of service. God of grace, you have shown us what you require of us, that we treat others fairly, and that we are prepared to forgive others as you forgive us. In the knowledge of your acceptance and love, we now confess our shortcomings. Please forgive us for those times when we have been rude to those we love, or far too quick to respond with anger. Please forgive us for those times when we have told lies to protect ourselves, or when we have taken pleasure in cheap gossip. And please forgive us for those times when we have been far more concerned about meeting our own needs, and so have completely ignored the needs of those around us. Eternal God, please assure us once again of your mercy. 
please grant us the opportunity to change our ways. And please help us to know that we are always loved and accepted, forgiven and healed by you. We sum up all our prayers as we say together the prayer that Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from Psalm 145 verses 8 to 14. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. All your works praise you, Lord. Your faithful people extol you. They tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might, so that all people may know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is trustworthy in all he promises and faithful in all he does. The Lord upholds all who fall and lifts up all who are bowed down. It is with great pleasure that we meet this morning as a congregation of God's people to administer the sacrament of baptism to Finnan Ray Gary Ellis, the son of Jason and Caitlin. Jason and Caitlin, this candle is yours. We're going to light it throughout the baptismal ceremony, and uh, we will give it to you at the end. Please take it home and um, light it either on the anniversary of the baptism or on his birthday as a way of reminding yourselves of the promise that you're going to make and also celebrating the light of life that is Finnan. I'm going to light the candle now. Um, Amber's going to do it. Thank you, Amber. There you go, Amber. Thank you. That's Amber right there. Thank you very much. We first hear some words of Jesus which tell how he responded to the needs of little children. People were bringing their little children to Jesus to have him touch them, but the disciples tried to stop them. When Jesus saw this, he was very angry, and he said, Let the little children come to me, and do not try to stop them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms and blessed them. Since Finnan is not yet old enough to make his own promises, Jason, Caitlin and the church must make promises on his behalf so that through Christian nurture he may one day come to make his own profession of faith and grow to serve Christ in the church and in the world. If you are able, would you stand, please?
And we have four godparents, please. Your little ones can come with you, that's fine, absolutely. That's lovely. So, Jason and Caitlin, in presenting Finnan for baptism, do you confess your faith in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Do you promise, with God's help, to provide a Christian home for Finnan, to bring him up in the faith of the gospel and the fellowship of the church? Yes. Thank you. As the godparents, Alexander, Dan, Daniel, and Sean, do you, as Finnan's godparents, confess your faith in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? And do you undertake to help Jason and Caitlin in every way you can to bring Finnan up in the faith of the gospel and the fellowship of the church? Thank you. I'm going to ask you all a, co a question. If you feel so able, would you please respond together? We do. Do you, as a congregation of God's people, promise to play your part in Finnan's Christian upbringing? by providing instruction in the gospel of God's love, the example of Christian faith and character, and the strong support of the family of God in fellowship, prayer, and service. Thank you very much. In your hymn books, would you keep your finger in number 420, please? 420, the baptismal prayer. Finnan, Ray, Gary, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We sing together the baptismal prayer. Stay where you are, please stay where you are. Right, Renesmee is going to come forward and put the sticker on the cradle roll. Well done, Renesmee. Well done, Renesme. That's lovely. And who's presenting the posy? You are all witnesses that Finnan has been received into the family and household of God. And I call on you to pray for him and to care for him, that he may grow in Christian faith and life and continue in Christ's service all his days. Please be seated.
and let us pray together. Heavenly God, we give you thanks for receiving Finnan by baptism into the life of your church. Keep him always in your love. Grant that he may grow strong in body and in mind. Protect him in all dangers and temptations. And bring him to spiritual maturity with an understanding of the importance of his soul for a meaningful life. We ask your blessing on Jason and Caitlin. Help them to surround Finnan with the love and the security he needs. Give them grace and wisdom to teach him your truth and to lead him in your ways. And through their love for him, may they come to love you more. We commend to you their home and all the families in this congregation. We pray that in our homes we may honor you and love and serve each other. Please accept us now as we recall what our own baptism means for us and as we rededicate ourselves to you. Please help us to care for all who are one with us in the life of your church. We offer our prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Redeemer. Amen. Our choir are now going to lead our worship in the singing of the anthem, All Things Bright and Beautiful, with music by John Rutter.
hymn that Caitlin and Jason have chosen for this occasion is number 549 in your hymn books, number 549. One more step along the world I go, and it's from the old I travel to the new. Keep me traveling along with you. Let us pray together. Almighty and eternal God, we bring to you our gifts in whatever way we are able to give them, asking your blessing upon them and praying that they may be used wisely and well in the service of your kingdom here in this place and throughout your world. We ask our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Redeemer. Amen. This reading is taken from Matthew chapter 11, verses 16 to 19. To what can I compare this generation? They are like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling out to others. We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We sang a dirge, and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he has a demon. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, here is a glutton and a drunkard a friend of tax collectors and sinners, but wisdom is proved right by her actions. We sing together the next hymn in your orders of service. Father God, I wonder how I managed to exist without the knowledge of your parenthood and your loving care. It's very short, so we'll sing it through twice. We stand to sing.
seated. In the reading that we've just heard from Matthew's Gospel, Jesus is complaining. And he's complaining that the people of his day are always complaining. They're always finding fault. They don't know how to feel. You can play music, but you don't know how to dance. Someone can cry with you, but you have no idea how to share tears with them. He's telling them that they don't know how to feel. They don't know how to enjoy life. But Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and have it abundantly. I think it is our favorite things that give us something of that sense of living life to the full and being fully alive. It is our favorite people, our favorite pets, our favorite things that give us that sense of inner joy and inner peace and of being fully alive. I'm afraid I have lost count of how many times I have seen the sound of music. But of course, my favorite things is a key song in that in that film and in that musical. And Maria sings, when the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite things and then I don't feel so bad. Today we give thanks to God for our families and our friends, for our toys and our pets, everything that gives us a sense of love and comfort and a sense of inner joy and peace. So I hope you have brought a favorite cuddly toy with you. Have you brought a favorite cuddly toy with you? Some have. If you have, please bring it out the front. Please bring your, fa your to cuddly toys out the front. Bear out the front. <laughs> well done, brother. That's it. Bring your, bring your cuddly toy out the front. Hold them up so we can all see them. Excellent. These. <laughs> come on, Mark. You know, absolutely. How lovely. Oh, and we have more. Wonderful. <laughs> Hold them up so we can see them. Turn around, Renesme. That's it. That's wonderful. And we have one here. Come on, sweetheart. That's it. Hold it up so we can all see. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> These are some of our favorite things. And you're very brave for bringing them because when they're so precious and they mean such a lot, to bring them to church and show them to us is really wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. That's fabulous. Okay, would you like to go and sit down? Whoopsie. <laughs> He's all right, bless him. He's all right. And thank you to all of you who have sent in pictures of your pets. We're now going to have a look at those and enjoy them to some music. Thank you. 
wonderful. <laughs> ah, brilliant. Thank you so much indeed for those lovely pictures. It's lovely to share them with you and to see your favorite pets. Thank you very much indeed. And we say thank you to God for all of our favorite things, as we shall be doing in our prayers in a moment. For now, we sing together the next hymn on your orders of service, Who Put the Colors in the Rainbow? Who Put the Salt in the Sea? And we stand to sing. Come before our God in a time of prayer and reflection. Let us pray together. Almighty and eternal God, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all that enriches our daily living, that gives our living meaning and purpose. We thank you for those who love us and who work hard to provide for our daily needs. We give you thanks for everything in our lives that gives us a sense of being cared for and of being secured. In particular today, we thank you for our favorite things, for our friends, for our pets, for everyone and everything that encourages us and strengthens us when we feel sad and lonely. We thank you for all of those who have taught us what really matters in life, who have given us a set of values to live by. For all those special people who love us, cherish us and encourage us on our journey through life, we thank and praise you, eternal God. And now, eternal God, we pray for families who are suffering sorrow and distress. Where there is grief, because a loved one is no longer here, where jobs and home are lost or health has failed, where neighbors make trouble, where children are violent and uncontrollable, where one is left coping with burdens that they had not reckoned for, then, eternal God, please bring your peace and your strength. Eternal God, we pray for families who are experiencing change, especially thinking at this time of all of those who have taken exams and are now awaiting their results and then having to make decisions about the way forward. Please grant your peace and your strength to face the unknown with courage and determination. Eternal God, we pray that all that we are and all that we do may reflect your nature and your purposes. So we offer this coming week to you 
with all its joys and all its worries, knowing that wherever we are and whatever we are doing, you go beside us to keep us company. You are behind us, behind us to catch us when we fall. And you go before us to show us the way. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear your glory that is all around us at all times. And to you, eternal God, be all honour, glory and praise, now and forevermore. Amen. We conclude our worship as we sing together in your hymn books, number 415, number 415, You Shall Go Out With Joy and Be Led Forth in Peace. It's very short, so we'll sing it through twice, and of course, if you wish to clap, please do. each other with the words of the grace and the words are on your order of service. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and always. Amen. Thank you. 